men's 400 meter intermediate hurdles, Samuel Matetti from Auburn, the collegiate record holder. And a lot of eyes on this man here, Jesse Allen from Duke. Not really a track power, he's in lane six. He's got the top time in the US this year. Smith, Mann, Garrett, Carter, Kamani, Allen, Murdoch, and Glover, your lane assignments, lanes one through eight. The same situation here. All right, they get out cleanly. And Beona Kamani from Baylor in lane five, doing terrifically. Now he was the top hurdler coming into this. And Jace Cantor from Hampton. They're both out well and not doing very well. Jesse Allen looks like he's struggling. Now he's got the nation's best time. But lane seven looking terrific. But here comes Beona Kamani from Baylor. Now he's powering as they get into the final turn. There he is in the middle of the track and now he stumbles slightly over that hurdle. But he rights himself and now he comes down another stumble. Kamani from Baylor. Oh boy, he is struggling, but so are the rest of the field. He just has to bring it the last 10 yards. And Kamani from Baylor with a great time, 48.67. That's a rough way to run those intermediate hurdles. He was banging those last two. Jesse Allen of Duke, fourth, not really a factor at all during the course of that race. Boy, how about that? Now he had the best time coming in from the qualifying heats, but certainly was not considered the favorite, but he just ran them all down despite two stumbles. And there's the disappointed Allen. And he's got to wonder what the heck just happened to me. Top time in the U.S. this year and not at all a factor. I'm sure he's very disappointed. Okay, now watch these in the middle of the track. There's Kamani. Now he cleans that hurdle, but you see stumbles sideways. Now writes himself, has to get back on pace. Now let's see how he handles this one. Leading with the left leg and stumbles again, but did clear the hurdle. He's got one more to go. In this situation, just don't fall down. You see the runner in second hits his hurdle much harder. And now it's clear sailing to the end. Look at that focus. There is no race in the sport of track and field that demands more focus and concentration to hold your form together when you're absolutely flat out exhausted. But proudly wearing those Baylor colors as he comes into the finish, the winner of the men's intermediate hurdles. What a terrific job. And a little bit of celebration there, your victor, Beano Kamani of Baylor. And here are the final results. The win of the 48.68, Corey Marduk from Utah State in second, James Carter from Hampton. But Arkansas also picked up four team 